Hello all and welcome to today's Bible portion. Today's Bible portion is going to be Genesis 36 and 37. Genesis chapter 36. Now these are the generations of Esau, <coughs> who is Edom. Esau took his wives to the daughters of his wives of the daughters of Canaan. Adah, the daughter of Elon the Hittite, and Aholabama, the daughter of Ar Anna, the daughter of the Z Zivian the Hivite, and Beshemath, Ishmael's daughter, sister of Nebahoth, and Ada bare to Esau Eliphaz, and Beshemath bare rule. And a whole Alabama bare Jush and Jalam and Korah. And these are the sons of Esau which were born unto him in the land of Canaan. And Esau took his wives and his sons and his daughters and all the persons of his house and his cattle and his beasts and all his substance which he had got in the land of Canaan and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob. For their riches were more than that they might dwell together. And the land wherein they were strangers could not bear them because of their cattle. Thus dwelled Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons. Eliphaz, the son of Edo, the wife of Esau, and Rule, the son of Bashamath, the wife of Esau, and the sons of Eliphaz, were Taman, Omar, Zopho, Gatim, and Kenaz. In Timna was concubine to Eliphaz, Esau's son, and she bare to Eliphaz, Emlech. And these were the sons of Ada, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Ruel, Nahath, and Zerah, Shema, and Mizah. And these were the sons of Bashemoth, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of of Aholabama, the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Z Zibion, Esau's wife, and she bare to e Esau Jush, Jalam, and Korah. And these were the dukes of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn of Esau, Duke Teman, Duke Omar, Duke Zepho, and Duke Kenaz, and Duke Korah, Duke Gatim, and Duke Amalek. And these are the dukes that came of Eliphaz in the land of Edom. These were the sons of Ada, and these were the sons of Ruz Esau. And these are the sons of Ruel, Esau's son, Duke Nahath, Duke Zerah, Duke Shema, Duke Mizah. These are the dukes that came of Ruel in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Bashemah's wife, sorry, Bashema, Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Esau who is, in, who is Edom, and these are their dukes. These are the sons of Seir, the Horites, and the inhabitants of the land, Latan, Shobal, Zibion, and Anna, and Deshan, and Ez, Ezer, and Deshan. These are the dukes of the Horites, the children of Seir in the land of Edom. And the children of Latan were Hori and Hamam. And Latan's sister was Timna. And the children of Shobal were these Alvin and Mah Manahath, and Abel and Zophol and Onam. And these are the children of Zibion, both Aja and Anna. And this, sorry, this was that Anna that found the mules in the wilderness as he fed the asses of Zibion his father. And the children of Anna were these, Deshan and Aholabama, the daughter of Anna. And these are the children, and these are the children of Deshan, Hemden, Eshben, Ethron, and Charon. The children of Ezer are these, Belhan, Zava, and Achan, or Achan. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. The children of Deshan are these, Uz and Aran. These are the dukes that came of the Horites, Duke Latan, Duke Shobal, Duke Zibion, and Duke Anna. Duke Deshan, Duke Ezer, Duke Deshan. 
of Duke Deshan and Duke Deshan. These are the dukes that came of Hori, among their dukes in the land of Seir. And these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before the, there reigned any king over the children of Israel. And Bela the son of Beor reigned in Edom, and the name of this of his city was then Habath. And Bela died, and Jacob the son of Zerah of Bozra reigned in his stead. And Jobab died, and Hushan of the land of Temani reigned in his stead. And Husham died, and Hadad the son of Bedad, who smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead. And the name of his city was Abith. And Hadad died, and Samla of Masreka reigned in his stead. And Shamla died, and Saul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. And Saul died, and Balhana, Balhanan, the son of Akbor, reigned in his stead. And Balhanan, the son of Akbor, died, and Hadar reigned in his stead. And the name of his city was was Pa. And his name, and his wife's name was Mehetebel, the daughter of Metrid, the daughter of Mezahab. And these are the names of dukes that came of Esau according to their families after their places by their names Duke Temna, Duke Alva, Duke Jethath, Duke Aholabama, Duke Ella, Duke Pinon, Duke, Ken Duke Kenaz, Duke Timon, Duke Mizbar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Aram, these be the dukes of Edom, according to their habitations in the land of their possession. He is Esau, the father of the Edomites. Ooh, some of those names are doozies. Genesis 37 Jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being seventeen years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren. And the lad was with the sons of Bilhah and with the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil reports. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all of his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren. They hated him, and could not speak peaceably unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he was told it, and he told it his brethren. And they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field. And lo, my sheep arose, and it stood upright, and behold, your sheep stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheep. And his brethren said to him, Thou shalt, shalt thou indeed reign over us, or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream, and he told it. And told it his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren, and his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down, down ourselves to thee, to the earth? And his brethren envied yeah, brethren envied him, and his father observed the saying. And his brethren went to feed their father's flock in Shechem. Shechem, sorry. Shechem. <laughs> and Israel said unto Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed the flock in Shechem. Come, and I will see. I will send thee unto them. And he said to them, Here am I. And he said to, the, to him, Go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brethren, and well with the flocks, and bring me word again. So he sent him out of the vale of Hebron, and came, and he came to Shechem. 
And certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field, and the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I seek my brethren, tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They are departed hence, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brethren and found them in Dothan. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him, and cast him into some pit. And we will say some evil beast hath devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands, and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hands upon him, that he might rid him out of their hands, to deliver him to his father again. And it came to pass, when Joseph was come unto his brethren, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him, and they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty, and there was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked, and behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Galead, and their camels bearing spicery and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Egypt. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let us and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother and our flesh, and he is brethren. Sorry, and his brethren were content. Then they were passed by Midianites and merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver. And they brought Joseph to Egypt, and Reuben returned unto the pit, and behold, Joseph was not in the pit, and he rent his clothes. And he returned unto his brethren, and he said, The child is not, and I, whither shall I go? And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the goats, and dripped the coat in the blood. And they sent the coat of many colors, and they brought it to their father, and said, This have we found. Know now whether it be thy son's coat or no. And he knew it, and said, It is my son's coat, and an evil beast hath devoured him. Joseph is without doubt rent in pieces. And Jacob rent his clothes, and put sackcloth on his loins, and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted, and he said, For I will go down into the grave unformed. And the Midianites sold him into Egypt unto Pitiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's, and captain of the guard. Now well, that's today's read. Until next time, I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.